Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Kindred Kitchen. We are not actually cooking today, but we do have something exciting for you. My name is Pam, and V is behind the camera today. Hello. And what we did today was we went grocery shopping. So I guess this would be kind of a grocery haul video, except we went locally. We did not go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. We went to the local grocery store, which is a food line. Yep. yep. Food Lion grocery store here in North Carolina. And I'm sure y'all have something similar. Y'all, I, I like the y'all. I know, I'm from Maine and actually y'all is, I've picked it up since I've been down here, I guess. See, when, when someone says y'all, I'm you know, I'm like, are you y'all y'all? Or y'all? Yeah. <laughs> is this y'all or all y'all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, this is local and I think it's owned by Hannaford. So I think the same companies because they have Hannaford brands in the food line as well. So I know that some of the people who watch this have this same type of grocery store that's supplied by the same company. Anyway, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe down below. It really helps out our channel and helps us reach more people. It's right down below. And then hit that little bell notification button so that you know every time we upload a video. Okay, so let's talk about what we bought today when we were out on our grocery haul. And make sure you go down to the comments section and give me a thumbs up if you are like me and you do not live near a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods. Now, I wish I did, but I don't. So I do what I can to shop at the local grocery store and pick out the best foods that I can. So V and I went shopping today and we did this work for you so that we can show you some of the things that we bought. So yeah, you and, can look. and there are plenty, if you look at the store brands of mm -hmm. whatever local grocery store you're going to, there are plenty of brands that are vegan and oil-free. Mm -hmm. So um, we- the, the one thing we could not find was, was an oil-free pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, and I'll show you the picture right here. It's going to be the picture of the grocery store. A huge, a huge selection. Yes. And we looked at every jar and every can and every plastic container yeah. of pasta sauce. Yeah, it took us about 20 minutes just in that one aisle where the pasta and they sauces all had were. Oil. Every single one of Olive them. Olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil, yeah. whatever. And, oil. and they had a pretty good marketing technique. They had one sauce that they wrote plant based on. You know that 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 one was, was like an eye mm -hmm. catcher. I was like, okay, let's oh, see what's going on. Yeah. yeah, let's see what's going on. But it still had oil and in it. And it was one brand and I can't remember the brand, but it said on it um, for sensitivity. It's, yeah. it's a sensi for sensitive people who are sensitive to certain ingredients, yeah. which I don't know what the ingredients were, but it did have oil, so yeah. obviously that's not one of them. But Okay, so let's get started. Let me start down here. Bread. This is a huge one for oil and also a lot of other things are in bread. Yes. And I will put a little um, blip on the screen right now that is going to show you um, the ingredients on one of, a, it's called a whole wheat, can't remember now the brand, but it's a whole wheat bread. Yes. And it still is not the best bread for you. But if you look at any of the, um, what's the other brand? Ezekiel breads. Yeah. Um, they have just good ingredients. Yeah. Sprouted ingredients, no oils, no sugars, no fillers. Um, yeah. Good breads. And they you check these out, like this one, and, in and the freezer yeah. section mostly. And that's what I was going to say. If it, A lot of grocery stores, like Trader Joe's, keeps it out. But a lot yeah. of grocery stores keep them in the freezer. And it it really preserves really well in the freezer. Yeah. So if you if you don't eat bread every day or you know yeah. like us, we don't eat bread every day, but So I picked up two different kinds. Neither one has oil in it. Yes. And they're all just good ingredients. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the ingredient list. Let me find it on here. Here it is, right here. If you can see the ingredient list right there, it's just good ingredients. And so I picked up two loaves of these breads to have in the freezer. I, right now, am not eating them because they are processed, yeah. but my boys do. And my, you know, my son has sandwiches and stuff like that, so I keep it around. Okay, let's move on to, everybody knows fruits and vegetables are good for you, Yeah. you know, but if you feel like buying all this fresh, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables is taxing on the pocketbook, I guess that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And also it doesn't keep, you know, if you bulk buy once a month, once every couple of weeks, and it's not lasting long in the refrigerator, pick up the frozen. And we also looked at a whole slew of canned vegetables. Yes. And the canned vegetables, most of them are really good. They have the vegetable, water, and salt. 
Yeah. Which, when I cook with anything that has added salt, I just leave the salt out of my cooking. Yeah. And then I taste it at the end. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because you do have the added salt. Yeah. But frozen does not. It is just your vegetables. Yeah. Now, if you're picking up things like potatoes, I would read the label. Because yeah. those have oils or seasonings and, yeah. and things in them. But if you're just picking up vegetables, and this is the store brand. The Food Lion yeah. brand of vegetable. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to have fruits and vegetables. Another fruit that I picked up was frozen strawberries. And the Food Lion brand of frozen strawberries also had no sugar yes. or anything. Sugar is a, added a lot in frozen it is. strawberries, especially, yeah. I guess, because the strawberries are not as sweet. But this is just strawberries, just strawberries. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just strawberries. So I picked up fresh because they were on sale. Hmm, yeah. So I picked up some fresh, but I also picked up frozen yep. strawberries for my smoothies. Or for, an ice cream, yeah. stuff like that. I That's the first thing here. my kids asked was, you know. Is it, it for here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are we making ice cream now? Yeah. <laughs> now let's go to crackers. And I thought I would find more rice crackers that are oil free in my local grocery store, which I did not. But I did find these ones. I would not eat this because this has a lot of seeds in it and I'm not doing seeds right now because I'm trying to lose weight. But if you're just in maintenance mode, you're not trying to lose weight, this is just, let me find the label here. This is seeds. It's, it's a lot of seeds in here, but no added oils, processed oils. So but this is very good. it's also not bad calorie-wise yeah. either. Yeah. It was like um, 12 calories for 150. 12 crackers for 150 yeah. Cra yeah. calories, yes. And so I'm not eating these right now, but these would be awesome in maintenance mode, mm -hmm. and my, my son will eat these up. Yes. And then I also picked these up, which we found these right here. These um, sourdough crackers. They don't have oil in them. Yeah. That was the biggest thing. Everything else had oil had in oil them. in it. But these are pretty good. And, and the, they had several different kinds of these yes. crackers. And I picked the up only the one dough for my son. Yeah, and the only one that that there was a sesame one, which sesame, you know, natural oils, yeah. but other than that, there wasn't added oil. Right. So So we I picked up those for my son as well. Again, it is processed, so I'm not gonna be eating these, but if you're on maintenance mode, you know, this would be a good cracker to have if you want, you know. Whatever. Yeah. All right. It, it goes, a lot of those that go good with pico, pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. It goes really good with that. I don't know. I like it. Now we looked at the cereals. This is a granola. And you do have to read the labels because a lot of your granolas and cereals in general are going to have a lot of sugar, um, oil, mm -hmm. and added honey, um, preservatives, honey, additives, yeah. bulk things, yeah. bulk, bulk things to bulk them honey, up. Honey was one of the in, famous ingredient in mm -hmm. a lot of the granolas. Yeah. So. But this particular brand I found at our local grocery store, the Food Lion, and that is a really good brand and it does not have any oil in it. Yeah. Yeah, again, I'm not gonna be eating this. It's not really 50-50, <laughs> but my son will eat this up. All right, peanut butter. Everybody knows, mm -hmm. read your ingredients on peanut butter. And I have a picture for this one too, and I will put it up right here in an empty spot on the screen for you so you can see what is in like Skippy or Jif or some of those brands of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And this one just has peanuts and salt. Yeah. Um, for a, you really can't find any that do not have like a little added salt if they're in a jar. Now you can at some specialty stores sometimes and you grind I, it yourself. Yeah, yeah. When you grind it yourself and then it doesn't have salt in it. But this is a this is a, a great brand, an organic um, brand from Food Lion. But make sure to read the labels on peanut butter. That it's a hor that's a horrible one. You know, especially yeah. adding sugar. Mm -hmm. These I love. You know, if I want something salty. Instead of, you know, potato chips or something like that, I'll grab a pickles. But yep. these are the Simply, Simply Pickles, which only have three, four ingredients on them, and they are, they're good. You know, they yeah. don't have a whole lot of preservatives and additives in there. Yeah. So these are the brand that I buy. Corn tortillas, another one you have to look out for, but we found yeah. this at Food Lion. These ones do not have the oil in them, and, and I you think can find them. This brand is almost available everywhere. Yeah. I've seen it in New York too. But you do need to read the labels because yes. they're, they're um, the, tortillas, yes. the corn tortillas and flour tortillas are notorious for yeah. having 
a oil yeah. in them. And I, and I tell Pam, um, in Belize, we live right across a tortilla factory oh. and they make fresh yeah. tortilla. So, you know, that was like a completely, it's a completely different experience. When I came to America and I had to buy these, I was like, no, this is not corn tortilla. <laughs> and I will say, if you want tort tortilla chips, cut these into wedges, put them in your oven for like 300, 325 and yes. just and just bake them. I put them on one of those um, silicone baking sheets and you do have to keep an eye on them because yeah. it doesn't take them long to go from toasted to burnt. Yeah. So keep an eye on them and, and you can make your own tortilla chips out of good tortillas. Yep. Mustard, make sure you're reading the labels. I picked this up because my son uses a lot of mustard, Dijon mustard. All right, this surprised me. <laughs> yeah. This was really... An eye-opener. Yeah, it Read was. Read your canned beans. I'm making chili tonight. My kitchen is all apart because we're remodeling, so I picked up the canned stuff. And this is the organic store brand. Again, the Nature's Promise is the Food Lion store brand. And this just has kidney beans, water, and sea salt. So again, I will not salt this until I get ready to eat it. You know, yeah. I'll wait and see if it needs salt. But I will put up a label right now so you can see what the other brands have in them. You have to read your labels. Who would have thought they would have put sugar in kidney beans? Why, they, why would you put sugar in kidney beans? They even put a, what was it? A agent that keeps everything firm. Fir, a firming agent, yeah. and it says that. They don't say what it is, yeah. they just say a firming agent. Yeah. I know, and a lot of beans. I looked at a lot of different bean labels. Sugar, why? Yeah. Why do you want sugar in your beans? I don't know. But if you're not cooking your own, you can get, you know, canned beans yeah. and make out reasonably well on the price. But and yeah, do... it's very convenient. You just got to read your labels. Yeah. V was looking for barbecue <laughs> sauce. And, and this can. is a hard one. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to find a mm -hmm. good, I, I, I don't know how good it is, but mm -hmm. I did found, find a barbecue sauce that it does not have oil and it is vegan. I'm looking to so, see if I can see the label. You can't yeah. really read the label. It's dark yeah. print on dark. But this, this is a good brand. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised that we found this. But you do, again, have to read your labels. But this is yeah. a great um, relatively clean barbecue sauce. Yeah. So if you're making barbecue lentils or something like that, and you can't make it up to Trader Joe's, you know? All right, store brand salsa is great. No oil in this, just some seasonings and vegetables. Yeah. You know, and so many of them do not have yeah. just seasonings and vegetables. So many have added oils or yeah. a lot of fillers or something in there. Yeah. But this again is a store brand. This is the Food Lion store brand. I do want to mention salsa. that a lot of the salsas that we saw in the grocery store some of the very common brands that I've seen mm -hmm. almost through every grocery store, a lot of them had caking agents. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I mean, like a thickener, probably just so. Yeah, that. I guess you know I I don't know what they're trying to do with it, but yeah. So read do read, read your, your labels, but there are good ones at yeah. your local grocery store. And did we talk about pasta? Mm. This is the brand I get for my family. I'm not eating it right now just because it's processed and it's wheat. And I'm staying away from this pretty much, but this has, where's the label? Right there, right there, see? Just wheat, whole wheat mm -hmm. flour, and that's it. So, and, and there were many um, pastas that, that were just the whole, the whole grain and- Yes, um, and so. then they have a lot of vitamins added back into yeah. them, and they're, because, to make the white pasta, you bleach it out. Yeah. And then they have to add those nutrients back in. Yeah. So which which you know it's I mean, there's only so much you can add back. So try to try to go for a, a for, whole wheat. Yeah, when it comes to pasta, I would say read the ingredients. The yeah. lesser the better. And you can always tell the whole wheat pasta always looks brown. Yeah. You know, grab it and then read the label. Yeah. And but that's the brand that I buy. So we just wanted to show you that you can shop local. You do not have to go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods to get good foods for yes. your family. You can buy frozen, you can buy canned, and you can you just gotta read the labels. Yeah. You know? And, and once you find that brand, yeah, you know, you pretty much know. Yeah. I mean I do read my labels every few yeah. weeks anyway, because yeah. brands change their they ingredients. Do. Yeah. But you can find this at your local grocery store, reasonably priced. 
So yeah. there's, you know, you can't use that as an excuse. And, like, and, I don't live near Trader yeah. Joe's, so I can't And do there's that. one more um, thing I would like to add here is a lot of local grocery stores, every week, like mm -hmm. there's once a week that they do run sales mm -hmm. on frozen vegetables. Uh, they run the sales on a lot of items. So check out for that because that's a good money saving tip yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed all of this. And remember, shop local when you can. This, the money that the clerks and stuff that are earning there, they will spend that in their community. You know, what goes around comes around. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we wanted to show you everything that we bought that's not from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Yep.